In this video, I'm simply going to be teaching you how to go from this to this in SPSS. To follow along this lesson, download the SPSS data file from the link in the description. So let's open SPSS. Here we have the data of the hardware versus wishing upon the stars group and we are going to be using this data to create a box plot. So what we do is we go to the graphs section, click on the chart builder, click OK. On the chart builder dialog box, I'm going to click on the box plot area and let's start with what we call here a simple box plot. We also have a clustered box plot and a 1D box plot. Let's use a simple box plot. So I drag and drop the simple box plot in this area so when you are plotting graphs in SPSS remember on the x-axis we will have the categorical variables these are objects that can exist in one category or the other on the y-axis we have continuous variables which indicate levels or in sometimes ordinal measures so on the x-axis I can start with the strategy of success I drag and drop it here that is wishing upon a star or hard work and then on the y-axis I can start with the level of success before the intervention or pre-intervention I drag this I drop there you can do the same on your data that you have retrieved follow this lesson doing the actions for you to remember more effectively so the strategy for success which represents categorical variables is on the x-axis the level of success before intervention which is a continuous variable is represented on the y-axis and then I click OK now let's check the output section of SPSS this is the output section of the strategy of success before the intervention how can we analyze this data or what do box plots tell about our data box plot reveal so much information about your data the blue area is the box that's why box plots are called box plots because of the blue area which represents the box on the top of the box plot we have a top whisker and on the bottom we have a bottom whisker now on the center of the box on a box plot we have a black line which represents the median we also have on the upper edge of the box in a box plot the upper quartile while the lower edge of the box in a box plot represents the lower quartile number now the topmost area of the top whisker on a box plot will represent the highest value in a data set while the lower area in the bottom whisker of a box plot will represent the lowest value a box plot is a very important tool to identify outliers in your data outliers are drawn as circles or are represented as circles in SPSS with the number of the row in which they are found for example this is an outlier on the 92nd row of our data if we were to go back and check our data and go to row number 92 you have the outlier here 77 a score of 77 out of 100 in measurement of success so we can see this person was already successful before the intervention and therefore such individuals are outliers SPSS is a very important tool to identify outliers in your data if you look at our data at the bottom you can also see other outliers or on row 58 and on row 87 so those are outliers also we can also check them out if you went to your data and check out row 58 you will observe that that is an outlier because the person has a very low score before the intervention which is 24 out of 100 they are already doing very badly in life we can also check row 87 you can see the person is already doing very badly box plots are important in detecting outliers because in some instances you can make mistakes when filling out data in SPSS now I want to plot the success of the participants in this study post intervention I go to the graph section I click OK I go to the box plot I drag and drop or double click the simple box plot to the plotting area I want to have the strategy for success as the categorical variables which are in the X axis and now I want to put the continuous variables in the Y axis when you are plotting always remember 
number, categorical variables in the x-axis, and continuous variables in the y-axis. I want to drag and drop the level of success after intervention there, and I want to click OK. So we have our next set of box plots here. You can see they are different in a way. There's something that looks like a star here. It's called an asterisk, and we also have a circle. Now, how do we analyze these box plots produced by SPSS representing the level of success after intervention by strategy of success. So we have the wishing upon a star group and the hard work group. SPSS will represent extreme scores as an asterisk. Remember the number after the label of an extreme score or an outlier is the row in which the score is found. For example, this extreme score is found on row number 229. So we can go back to our data set and check row number 229. So this is row number 229 and this is success post intervention. So this is the row in which an extreme score is found. 94 out of 100 in success score post intervention. SPSS helps you to identify extreme scores which you can either modify if you made a mistake while entering data or you can highlight in your data analysis. Again, SPSS will help you identify outliers because for example the circle represents an outlier which is on row number 204. Now the body of a box plot represents the interquartile range and the interquartile range is the middle 50% of all the scores in a data set. So all the scores, 50% of all the scores will fall within the range of a box plot. Again on the top whisker of a box plot is the top 25% of the scores in a given data set while the bottom whisker of a box plot will represent the bottom 25% of all the scores in a box plot. Did you find value in this video? Be sure to like and subscribe for more such videos in the future.